Hello everyone, welcome to this tutorial on how to assign behavior to game objects using c -sharp scripts. Unity supports scripting in c -sharp language. That means you can write scripts by coding in c -sharp language and apply desired behavior to Unity game objects. To understand this better we will assign a simple behavior to a cube game object that when we click on it it starts rotating and when we click again it stops rotating. So, let's get started. First we will add a cube to our Unity scene by going to Game Object then selecting 3D Object and then selecting Cube. So we have a cube in our scene. Select the added cube and go to Inspector window. In Inspector we can see all the components for the selected game objects. For example Game Object Cube has a component box collider which can be used to detect collisions happening to our cube. When the game runs in real time, we can use it, for example, to detect whether the cube has collided with other game objects or not. We can then use it to drive the required behavior to our game. Every component has different properties which can be assigned values. So, let's say for this component, Mesh Renderer, we can assign a different material to the cube changing its look. Coming back to our example we will add the C-sharp script which again, is a type of component, but needs to be separately added to our cube game object, as it is not added by default unlike the Mesh Renderer or Box Collider which are added by default when we created the cube game object. So, to add script we click on Add Component, which throws a pop-up with different components listed. To narrow down to our C-sharp script component we type new script in the search box. You will now see the new script component. Clicking on it takes to the next step of naming the C-sharp script. We can give it a name Rotate Cube. Clicking on Create and Add creates a new C-sharp script which can now be programmed in an IDE of your choice. In this case we open the script in Visual Studio. To open and edit script in IDE, we click on the three dots in our Rotate Cube script component and click on Edit Script. Here is our script which we will now be learning about. Our requirement is that when we click the mouse button the cube should start rotating, and when we click again the cube should stop rotating. So, we need to detect the event when mouse left button is clicked. To detect a mouse press we use the code if input.getMouse button with zero in parenthesis. This code needs to be in the update function. An update function is called by Unity every frame. So, the code inside the update function gets processed continuously every frame. Since we would like to detect the mouse click button event continuously we declare this code in update function. Now, we need to check whether the cube needs to be rotated at this click or stop at this click. For this we use a boolean variable called rotate. A boolean variable can take only two values true or false. So, to control the logic of whether cube needs to be rotated or not we invert the current value of rotate variable. This means if the value of variable rotate before click was false it will become true now after mouse button click and vice versa. To implement this we use the bool operator not equal to invert the value of rotate variable. This way we can put a condition that only if the value of variable rotate is true which is when we are going to rotate the cube. For that we use this code transform.rotate which rotates the cube by a certain fixed value defined by the vector 3 variable holding fixed x, y and z values. In our case we assign the value of 150, 360 float values to x, y and z values respectively. We also multiply this vector with a value time dot delta time, which is the time interval in seconds between the current frame and last frame. 
Why we multiply by this is because our game may be running on different devices each of which have different frames per second execution capability. To make the cube rotation independent of the frames per second and rotate it only in fixed values we take this factor into account and multiply with the time elapsed between current and last frame. This operation will make the cube look rotated with fixed speed only and is independent of the device the game is running on. Now we come back to Unity Editor and play the game. When I press the left button the cube rotates, and when I press button again it stops rotating. Again if we press button cube rotates, and we press again cube stops rotating. We have achieved the desired behavior using C Sharp script. If you like my videos please like it and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.